No, okay. you know what? So, you, no, no, do you no, not going to no, be able to look at you? I say it operates. I say it operates through false religion, Catholicism, Islam. They both as bad as each other. Say it operates through false religion. Say it operates through false religion. Catholicism, Islam, all of it. You can't. You can't help no one without preaching the true gospel. You're going to stand before Jesus. And he's going to tell you, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I didn't know you. You lot, you seek glory from one another, but you do not seek it from the only true God. There is no peace between that which is dark. The Antichrist brings a false peace. Jesus does it. He says, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. The word of God is the truth and it divides us. There is no unity between that which is dark. There is there's no unity with Catholics. There's no unity with um, no Christian. I don't hate Catholics. Say what you want. Yeah. When the adult, the first woman, turn up, that's the Catholic church. Let me finish. Okay. When the adulterous woman turned up at Jesus, what did Jesus say? Let the first person who have not seen cut the blessing. Oh my goodness, soul. talk about isolate Bible verses. Galatians 1 8 says, If you preach a false gospel, you are to be a curse. There is no fellowship with light and darkness. There is no unity with light and darkness. You preach a false peace, you're antichrist. Jesus is going to tell you on judgment day, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I didn't know you. The economical movement that you have going on down here is wickedness. I love Catholics. And that's the reason why I tell them the truth. They're not saved. They're on their way to hell. No, they're not. They have to be born again. Catholics have to be born again. Where is your where is your loyalty to Jesus Christ? Where is your loyalty to Jesus Christ? You show loyalty to Bob, but not Jesus. Shame on you. You shame on you. You for the sake of peace, a false unity, you would rather watch Bob burn in hell than believe in a false gospel. Shame on you. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! There is no fellowship. Nothing for not Christian. No, I have salvation. Not because I'm a good, but because Jesus paid for my sin. You know what? You are disgraceful. You are disgraceful. You are disgraceful. You are disgraceful. No, there's no anger. There is only passion and zeal for the truth. You are going. To end up in hell because you preach a false gospel with a false identity. She's got no charge of the heaven that you have. This is a Muslim, not sage. All right. And the thing is, you very close is love. See, you got Muslims defending you. What does that tell you? You got Muslims defending you. What does that tell you? It shows that you're in the kingdom of darkness. Muslims defending you. Not because we preach the truth. Because we preach the truth. You are disgraceful. You are disgraceful. Your fake economical thing you got down here. You're gonna hear those dreaded words if you don't repent. And believe the true gospel. There is no fellowship between Christians and Catholics. Catholics are not going to be saved unless they believe the true gospel. And you lot are evil. If you don't preach the true gospel, you're helping no one. You want to save the world? God is going to burn up this world. Judgment is coming. You can't change that. But you can stop these people from going to hell by preaching the true gospel. But you can't because you don't know it. Shame on you. Shame on you. The only demons down here are those preaching a false peace. It's Antichrist. Thank <laughs> you.